Back to that horror in Joliet, two kids, a woman, and a man found shot to death inside a home in what appears to be a murder-suicide. WGN's Julian Cruz spoke with distraught loved ones today. Good afternoon. Family members say they didn't see this coming. Friction between a longtime Joliet couple with two young children, certainly an indication, they say, that the relationship was changing, but nobody expected violence. I think she was outgrowing him. She had re-enrolled in school. Um, she was trying to get her nursing degree finished, and I think he felt that she, he was losing her. A devastated Russia Brooks says her daughter was trying to break away boxes of belongings and packed up personal items in the living room at her daughter's home at 503 East Whitley Avenue, a likely indication that Jacqueline Gaskin and her longtime boyfriend were splitting up. I just heard a, a loud scream, you know, a scream that was like terrifying, a scream that would make you, you know, bring to your attention to come outside. Neighbors describing the awful scene after 10 o'clock last night on the 500 block of Whitley here in Joliet, the victim's loved ones making the terrible discovery. And it's the lives that didn't do nothing. They're innocent. If, if you don't want to be in a relationship, just leave. You don't have to hurt anyone. Terrence Brooks in a state of disbelief, his wife, Russia Brooks, mother to the murdered Jacqueline Gaskin, just 28 years of age. Her young children also found dead. One-year-old Giovanni Lee and his six-year-old sister, Gianna Lee. A fourth person, the children's biological father, Brandon Lee, also found dead in the home. Joliet police investigators only saying that they believe this was a murder-suicide, but loved ones believe that it was Brandon Lee. Lee is to blame, they say, upset about a breakup with the children's mother. She, she was a good good kid, mm -hmm. good, she, a loving mother. You know, she loved her kids. She took care of her kids. Beautiful. Yeah. Be beautiful spirit. The children were beautiful children. The grief-stricken family now faced with the difficult task of making funeral arrangements for their loved ones. In Joliet, Julian Cruz, WGN News. Top stories developing in Joliet right now. Two young children killed along with their mother and father.